winner of the Indian Australian Ambassador of the Year 2016, Peter Varghese. Jim Varghese, the Executive Director, Business Development Australia, India Institute, will accept the award on his behalf. Please welcome. Good evening, everyone, and congratulations to Sonia and the team. On behalf of uh, Peter, I'm very pleased to receive this award, but Peter would like this award dedicated uh, to our parents. Uh, um, our parents was uh, Anima Verghese, my, my mum, and George Verghese. Um, mum was from uh, Kerala, in the state of Kerala. She was in the um, Neuronatlam, in the coastal side, Dad was um, in the hills past Cottingham, so you had this mix of the hills and the coastal land, of Ayurveda from my mum's side, of farming and education from my dad's side. It's these two young couple drove over to British East Africa in Tanzania, in Kenya, and had nine children. And they came in almost driven by providence to come to Australia on a five-year permit at the height of the height of the White Australia policy. When they arrived here in Newcastle in 1964, they discovered, in fact, that it was a three-year permit. When they went to Brisbane in '66, at the end of the third year after Dad did a critiquing of the, uh, of the White Australia policy at the University of Queensland, the Immigration Minister offered us permanent residency. We took that up and then started an incredible journey where our parents encouraged educational excellence but also making a difference and creating public value. Now our parents, like very typical Indian parents, pushed us into two choices. You either did medicine or you did law. <laughs> but Peter got an exemption from that. He went as a young uh, cadet into the DFAT. And from there, he's reached the heights that he did today. In a family of high achievers in medicine, particularly psychiatry, sciences and academia, Peter is a standout achiever outside of that realm. So I'd like to finish off with this very simple message that I'm sure my dad and my mum would be particularly proud of today. When dad addressed the small Indian diaspora in Brisbane, he said that he believed one of his children would be High Commissioner to India. It was greeted with absolute amazement and even ridicule. But today, if he was still alive, he'd be absolutely delighted that one of his children did in fact become the High Commissioner to India. So let's hear Peter in his own words say what he wants to say today. Good evening. Um honoured and indeed humbled to receive the Sayapka Award uh, and very disappointed that I can't be with you there personally. I want to start by thanking Ayapka for the work it does to promote our relationship with India and to uh, encourage the diaspora community. I want to thank in particular the panel uh, for their choice uh, of me for this award and uh, for the great work that they do individually and collectively uh, for the Australia-India relationship. Now, I know some of you may feel that uh, having been a professional diplomat for 38 years, I might have a slight edge in an ambassador's award, uh, but I accept this really on behalf of a diaspora community which is playing an increasingly important role in our links with India. Uh, India is a very important relationship for Australia not just as a trading partner, uh, but also as a strategic partner uh, and always as a secular liberal democracy. Uh, and the diaspora can play a vital role in strengthening this relationship. It can go into the nooks and crannies of a relationship that governments cannot reach. Now 500,000 strong, 
I see the diaspora as a big driver of the future of the relationship. Uh, when my family came to Brisbane uh, 52 years ago, the diaspora was barely there. Indeed, the Indian Brisbane community could meet at our house for dinner. Now, of course, things look so different uh, and will continue to grow with uh, India being our largest source of migrants and our second largest source uh, of students. Uh, so to all of those there tonight, closely involved in this relationship, who are committed to its development, uh, I encourage you to continue with your good work uh, and to ensure that we develop a relationship that is limited only by our will and our imagination. Thank you. Thank you very much. Happy Diwali. Namaskar.